Okay, part three of Darksiders 3 is here. Uh, when I booted up the game, I was a little sus because it started me all the way back in that corner. However, all the enemies stay dead. So this does work like Dark Souls uh, where, you know, enemies stay dead. And basically you're in the same state as when you quit the game. So we're going into this glory hole. Uh oh. Don't stop your blubbering, human. Come to me. Now. Helping hand, damn. Do you want to live? <laughs> what? If you want to live, I can send you to a safe place. Safe as any, I suppose. Is this how she's gonna turn from a bitch into a normal character? She's gonna slowly come around. Idiots. It's a miracle they ruled the earth for as long as they did. That's how it's gonna be. Alright. That is a blocked path. Alright, morph ball time. It's really weird that it goes into first person. Like when has Darksiders ever been first person? Never. I mean Yeah, they could have just like morph bolt her like Sam as well. Nope. Alright. The nether. The environments themselves are actually probably closest to the first Darksiders. I mean, Darksiders 2 for sure deviated. I could feed him souls. And I'm gonna do that. And we're also going to Serpent Hole back to Old Thane because I got some weapon upgrades, I feel like. So we're going to check those out and see how that works. Hopefully it doesn't take souls as well because then I'm kind of boned, although I probably do have consumables. Oh yeah, by the way, sorry about the lack of episodes yesterday. Just got home late from work because uh, of traffic. Normally, because I, I live really close to where I work, like 10 minutes by car, 15 maybe, but yesterday was just fucking horrible. I don't know what people were doing, it was crazy. The worst is when you, you're in a traffic jam, then you go and go and go and it turns out that the jam is because somebody had an accident on the other side and everybody's just like sitting there or slowing down to stare at the accident. I fucking hate that. Just move along. No one's dead, you know. I can finally sleep safe. That's because of us. Just remember that. This guy is hammering it home. What is he doing? What up, old pain? Alright, upgrade weapon. Bars of scorn. Oh, this is just like straight up how tight night works. Nice, Sue. And we do not have enough. <coughs> we do not have enough. I'm focused fortifier. Physical and arcane damage with this weapon plus six. So can I just like? Oh, okay. What the hell? Is it just like applied? Cool. I guess. Not sure I did that correctly, but whatever. Um, I think if I just go along and upgrade like normal, it will be fine. Show me your wares. So how how come these both cost the same? You'd think... You'd think there would be a difference, but... We'll buy one. And we're going to Serpent Hole. Take your time. I guess Hatchling Cesspool. What a pleasant name. And we're gonna be fighting the Zerg. The Zerg have... No, they have spawning pools. And it's been a while. I do like me some Starcraft, honestly. Second one... Uh, not so much. I mean, the game is excellent, but... I honestly feel like they kind of fucked up the story, you know. StarCraft 2 had, I mean StarCraft had a really interesting 
story for an RTS, I feel like. Even with the limited <clears throat> cutscenes and all that that they use, or they had access to. But with two, I mean, it started off good. I think the biggest mistake was when they couldn't figure out how to make Kerrigan into a proper antagonist. Like when, when you spend the entirety of, um, God, what's the first one called? Heart of the Swarm, Wings of Liberty. When you spend, am I gonna, go, should I go down there? You spend the entirety of Li Wings of Liberty trying to turn her back, even though game number two left off with Jim basically promising to kill her. No matter what, you know, you fucking turn her back and she changes back into a Zerg on like mission 5 of uh, Heart of the Swarm, depending on where, when you go there. It was just a little bit weird and it goes into like, she becomes a god at the end, it's just like hella messy. Uh, I think they could have done a lot more with the concept of the... The, what what were they called? The hybrids and all that. It could have been more interesting. But whatever. The game is... Gameplay-wise, excellent. I'm gonna go down there. But the first one is always gonna be... More special. It's a shame that the RTSs are... So dead as a genre. I think a few are getting released next year. Maybe. There's one that really interests me, the... I don't remember what exactly it's called, I'm doing some sick dodges today. But it's like really steampunk inspired, you have like mechs. Basically like steampunk mech suits and all that. Heart of Iron or something, something Iron, I just fell off like an idiot, fuck. I know Iron is in the title, I think. So... That is an RTS. I'm... Hella hyped for it. Hopefully it comes out next year, actually. Looks really similar to Company of Heroes, which is also a game that I love. <clears throat> There's Deserts of Karak, and that was also a really fun series on the channel. What is the fortification? Oh, it just increases your defense, right? Probably gonna save that for a bossy boss. There's three of them down there. I don't have, like, a slam down attack, do I? I don't think I do. There's four of them. But these things are bitches anyways. Eat shit up in the air. Did you say filthy bastard? And I like Fury. It's cool that they made all the horsemen different personality wise. And gameplay wise. Death was still the most fun to play, I feel like. Death was really cool because of all the magic shit he could do, you know? He could, like, summon skeletons and all that. That was really fun. Darksiders 2 is awesome. I'm really planning on getting the second game and playing it on stream. Uh, we're gonna use... We use a Nephilim Respite. That's the one that restocks, right? I think it is. I can't wait to get new combos. We're gonna try it. Yeah, okay. So out of combat, use that. In combat, use the healing shards. Like life gems and all that. Which, speaking of, uh, today is Friday. I will be streaming the good old classic Dark Souls 2 tomorrow, so if you don't normally join the streams, I highly suggest you do. It's always a good, a good time. And people can attest to that. Just, you know, talk some shit, play some Dark Souls, have a chat. I like streaming a lot, you know. really planning on starting a Friday stream as well. I just don't have a game picked out yet. That's why it's probably gonna be Darksiders 2 when I do get it. Which is 
probably gonna be I'm gonna finish something on my channel first either Dark Souls 3 or Neo or something I don't want to have too many like 50 concurrent series going at the same time this thing looks like they, they look like those things from Resident Evil those lizard thingies What kind of shitty subway line is this? I'm guessing this is supposed to be like New York City or Chicago or something. No, this is New York City because LJ, EN7, those are all NYC stations. Oh. Oh, that is really cool. You can do that. So <laughs> what does that accomplish exactly? Oh. Nothing. Thought you were supposed to throw it on here. Weird. Is that just like a sink kill type deal? I'm guessing no. That's fucking funny. Just throw his ass. Alright. Where to, where to? Because again, I feel like... Aren't these things supposed to explode? Like they did in... Must be like a way to target. I'm just failing really hard at this puzzle. Okay. Oh, that's what I need. Nope. Never mind. Oh, that's a mouth. I missed that there was this mouth thing there. It's really annoying that you can't aim it. Must be a way to. Oops. Can I just like drop it? Huh. I feel like that thing is supposed to be eaten. Oh. You gotta wait. Alright. That's why I was weirded up. So you. It eats from that. Damn. Alright. I was just not patient enough. That was a brain fart moment, sort of. What? The hell's get huh. what? Being observant is literally in your name, watcher. Ha! <laughs> she got scared and she's a bitch. Unlike us. I missed that thing too as well. Fucking Ultralisk. Yeah, this is gonna be a StarCraft reference filled episode. She even... She even sounds like Kerrigan. That's who she was reminding me of. The way she talks and her attitude and all that. She's literally Sarah Kerrigan. Oh, hello. Lock on, please do your job. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go unlock for a little bit. Surely, let's do this. Cool. Frenzy shard. Just makes us go crazy. Obviously by the name that was a stupid question. Alright, got that back. I don't wanna pop this Nephilim's respite just yet. I 
heard tales, but truly, he is a terrible sight to behold. I... Sloth is next? Alright. Alright, chill out, Watcher. We're just going through Seven, aren't we? That is a good movie. Seven. I haven't seen that. Um, gets an official Mr. Sketchhead recommendation. I have an attribute point. Just realized. I didn't have it socketed. You have to hold. Alright. Well, that was a massive brain fart. It's okay. Uh, we will ignore that. I'm gonna pop these, because why not? Shame that you cannot... Oh, yes you can. Let's level up while we still can. First of all, I'm gonna buy a small healing shard, just one. And then we're going to feed souls. Nice, so cool. Just before the boss, I think it is only appropriate arcane damage. Why not? I think we're gonna go more physical damage and more health. I want more health. All right. I'm guessing there is like some minor choices. And what you can and cannot like you can have builds I'm guessing but probably not gonna matter too much thorn shard that's the damage one right there it is cool adamantine we'll have to wait for that thing to reach its destination which I do not quite see because that's supposed to be one of those like weird orange vomp pools there isn't one hold on let's not do the same brain fart that we did the last time because that was kind of not my proudest moment. Although, to be fair, it's not like it was super convoluted or nothing. It's just... Yeah, there isn't, isn't one down here. Oh, that's really... D that's the only, like, really dodgy thing I've seen so far in this game. The... Like, you know, people say this is so old school. Oh, there's Sloth. That must be him. He's sitting on his throne. Cool. I cannot find the... It might be in the other room here. Yeah, this is kind of dodgy. This is what, like, what people were talking about. This is a very old school thing. Like the mid... Uh oh. oh I was like, Pre please don't crash. This is such an old school thing, though. There it is. Cool. We got that. I guess you gotta like sprint back and throw it. Hey, you, come here. And we'll. It's R3. I'm. Yeah. That was a weird. I remember in the. F I remember now. Yeah, that was the thing in Darksiders 1 as well. Something I always found weird. This was, again, this was a puzzle in the first game as well, and I enjoyed it that time as well. Nothing super complicated, obviously, but... That's what I was trying to achieve. Eat shit, monster. No, don't. Fuck. 
still alive. All right. I'm gonna try it. So you really got a whole ass. Cause I'm pretty sure you can make it. Like, depends on how far she throws, or how much time you have. When you think about it, I'm sure this is possible. There's actually quite a few places we can go. Go, 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 go! No, there isn't. Huh. Alright. There's no way there is enough time. I really thought you had more, but... Guess you don't. Of course, then you'll get the one that's triggerable. It's okay, chill out. Ain't gonna murk you. Wasn't that the same chick as from before? Did she get lost again? Damn. There must be like... There's probably gonna be a way to light them. Like in Darksiders 1. Gotta trigger them. I like this environment though. Oh, there's another one? Cool story, bro. I'm gonna move on. That just gives you souls, doesn't it? That thing up there? Oh fuck. It's a big fuck you monster. We'll get back to you, don't worry big fuck you monster. Wish I had a gun. Oh, it spawns. It's a lurcher, or what, is it, what are they called in Heart of the Swarm? <laughs> Not a lurcher. Oh, it's really fast too. It's spawning banelings. Oh, jeez. Thought I wasn't dead. Thought I had a sliver left. Alright, that thing is kind of tough. Whatever. We got this. We got this. Depending on where we respawn, though. And how long it takes to respawn. I heard the checkpoint system can be kind of <clears throat> unforgiving. But we'll see. At the Valgrim place. Kinda had a feeling, honestly. Naturally, items don't respawn. I wonder if, like, gates and shit like that. Not even gates, but... The spiderweb shit. The spiderweb shit, that doesn't make sense. Alright, we'll, we'll save Havoc for him if we need it. I prefer not to use it, honestly. And... Save it for the boss if we can. Okay, it doesn't respawn. That is very convenient. Bro, just gonna grab this. It's weird that you have this much, you have so much time to. You don't have a lot of time to dodge, but you have so much time to press counter. Ouch. I need to heal. She lost all her babies, or whatever. Oh, 
for a brief time before their inevitable destruction. Don't cool. Oops, rejuvenation cordiston automatically increases the amount of health restored. Nice. Your arm, your on the back. How do you <laughs> on dealing with that? Damn, roasted. Roasted. I like this watch more because I mean, well, to be fair, it's difficult to, be, to beat Mark Hamill voice acting, but you know, still. Hold on. Do these things only like do they explode automatically as well after a while, or is it only if you grab them? That's because then I might have an idea. We're gonna observe David Attenborough style. Because the question is... Oh, but they don't move. I see. Alright. I get it. Because I was thinking maybe you could get it to follow you and then go back and unlock that spider web, but... Probably not the case. Works on that as well. Huh. It's probably a shortcut. Fuck. I was wondering what the catch was with that. I knew there had to be something. Oh well. We got this. So can you get two to spawn though? That's a question. Because I think the idea here is to destroy this, go and destroy that. You know, you get what I'm saying. Or do you... Grab the one from down there, jump up, unlock this, sprint through, grab this one. I think that might be it. Dep like, if you even have enough time to... Like, if I grab this one... Hmm. This is interesting. Puzzle for the ages, right? There's for sure ain't enough time for a second one to spawn. Maybe there is. No, there for sure ain't, isn't. And only one of them spawns, unless... <laughs> Alright, this really is a puzzle. Unless there's something you can do with this. There isn't. Wait, you can hold... Wait, there's a different combo for holding it down. What the? Oh. Dang. You learn something new every day. Yeah, second one definitely doesn't spawn. This is really cool. How the hell do you do this? Seriously. Ouch. Because there's... Huh. Your boy is officially stumped. Un I just got it. You can grab this one. And take him. Fuck, I'm so stupid. But yeah, you, you have to take him. 
here. And then you can get two of them. Blast him. I'm a genius. Got a little music cue as well. And with that, as we come to this lovely chasm, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. Yeah, this was this was fun. I like the puzzles. Uh, I like them in Darksiders 1 as well. 2 didn't have too many, if I remember correctly. It had more platforming. But yeah, yeah, this should be good. This should be good. Next up is Sloth, probably. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.